Hey, what's going on guys? It's Sean or Mustang09 bringing you a new video. And today, this one is for all the dads out there that have kids with cars or like power wheels, I should say. If you've seen some of these videos in the past, then you know I love working on my daughter's power wheels. ML Toys is a website that I purchased a lighting kit off of. I was able to get headlights and fog lights and tail lights and all kinds of cool stuff. They've got motor upgrades and they were kind enough to sponsor this video. They saw I was modifying my daughter's power wheels very mildly, just adding some uh, accessories to it. And so they decided to send out another set of tail lights because currently we've only got two. And as you know, it's a Mustang, so we've got to have three. It's the tri bar tail light, it's the traditional tail light for the Mustang. So we'll be able to put these ones in as well as some really cool underglow so these this is an LED strip that lights up blue underneath the car and I'm gonna show you guys how to install these uh, it's super simple it's a power and a ground and we're gonna run it in line with the lights that we currently have so it's gonna look really awesome and there's a special method we're gonna use to mount the third tail light in this model of power wheels there's currently not a spot to do it so we're gonna have to fab up our own way and the guys Michael over at ML toys was kind enough to show me how he did his, they did a police uh, power wheels cruiser that I think they auctioned off, so super cool of them. And just so you guys know, there will be a link in the description for all these products, mltoys.com, but also look down below and you can find all the products that I'm using specifically down there. Let's get going. No Mustang video would be complete if I didn't have my baby in the video. This is my 2013 Mustang GT. This is what started the channel. This is the original Mustang. But we're keeping that heritage alive with my daughters. This is now hers. And so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna start with the rear tail lights, adding this third brake light in there. And we're gonna do that by tearing the rear part of the power wheels apart. If you aren't sure how to do that, there's a video somewhere up top here. You can click that link. I've already done this, so for the sake of time in this video, we're gonna time lapse right through all this. And I'm gonna go ahead and take everything out and get ready to mount the third tail light. saw me using right there was this plastic nylon pry bar set. Uh, it's really good for removing interior pieces of your car or even exterior pieces. Uh, it doesn't scratch anything up. It's really soft plastic, but uh, I got this from Harbor Freight, but what I'll do is I'll leave a link down below to an Amazon uh, item that's pretty similar, and you can pick this up. It's super useful just anywhere around the house, inside these little cars or inside of your real car. Uh, it's nice to have stuff that doesn't scratch things up when you need to pry it apart. Okay, dope. Now that we have the rear section torn apart, you can tell that it was super simple to put in the first two tail lights because there's plastic to drill a hole into and set the lights in. However, the third one is an empty space. There's a void there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill that void with some of this right here. And this is styrene sheeting. You got me, I don't really know. The guys at ML Toys told me about it. It's sort of like a plastic sheet of, I don't know. It's, it's made for model homes and different kinds of architecture. So it's really thin, but it's, it's thick enough that it'll hold something in place and keep it rigid. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna split this sheet in half and put a piece on each side to fill the void. Alrighty, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna line this up over here. I'm not gonna go all the way over. I'm just gonna go just on the other side of the first tail light and mark it to where it'll fill the rest of the third tail light's void and we'll cut it down. So about right there. So pretty much in half, what we'll do is we'll cut this down, give us two pieces, enough to do both sides. Put that in here for now. So now we'll have to fabricate our tail light housing piece. So this will go in here just like that. Just gonna eyeball it to begin with. And that was pretty good. So what we'll do now is we'll just trim some of the edges off. So now that we have our piece, which looks about right to me, we'll go ahead and cut holes for the existing tail lights to fit into place. And what I probably have to do is draw a slit in there so that we can uh, bend it in half and slide it around because the wires are all the way through already and I don't want to have to undo those in order to get this in. So when you're doing it for the first time, if you go ahead and buy this, that way you can just run the wires through and you don't have to make the little slit like I'm going to make. Perfect. So now that this slit is here, what I'll do is I'll cut out little circles and so that these lights will sit behind it. And then this will basically just cup those in place. Then we'll have our tail light ready. 
So now that we have these uninstalled slightly, you can tell that there are posts behind the lights. Here are the new ones. And so what we'll do is we'll cut a hole big enough for this to sit inside and it will fit in there flush and you won't be able to tell that there's a piece behind it. So now this should sandwich in here. Just go this way. Like so. So what I'll need to do is I will need to trim a little bit extra off here. I got the alignment a little wrong on this one and then uh, it should sit flush. What I went ahead and did is I made a, I used this one as a template and traced out our driver side tail light holder. So this will just go on the other side. Real simple because all you have to do is flip flop it. They're identical pieces. Uh, and we also have room to make a third if we mess up this one and need a backup. So uh, plenty of use out of one sheet of styrene. We're gonna go ahead and get our tail light holder installed and we'll get our third tail light ran. And just so I don't put too much stress on this little thin piece of plastic, I'm gonna go ahead and back these out majority of the way where the wires are just showing so that it's easier on the plastic to slide it around. Now we have tail light holder in place. Take one of our new tail lights and run it through the same route we did for our existing tail lights. So now we're just gonna reinstall the first two tail lights in place. What I like about this system is, is if we ever needed to slide it one way or other, we could simply trim this out and you could slide it that way or you could slide it back inwards just to get it to line up right with the tail light lens on the power wheels. Now that we have our third tail light in on both sides, I've simply run the wires the same route I ran the other two tail lights. And since I'm doing this after the fact, I'm gonna have to tap them in with the existing wires. If you're doing this from scratch with all three lights at the same time, you won't have to tap it in like I'm going to do. Uh, I'm no wiring expert, so I'm just gonna give it my best shot, tap them in like I did the first time around. And if you wanna see how I did that, go watch the previous videos. Uh, it's just simple soldering a wire in and putting a heat shrink over it uh, to hold it in place and keep it protected. So now I'm gonna do that and the tail light install will be complete. With the tail lights installed, it's time to move on to our underglow. So we have blue LED lights here. This is a 35 inch strip. So as you can tell, it's too long for our side, but not to fear. You can cut this down. You just count out three LED strips and you can make a cut and then those three LED strips will work. The cool part is there are positive and negatives on both sides. So if you wanted to cut it in half and use it in multiple spots, you could totally do that and then just run and draw power from your other sources. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna mount them on the underside on the sides. And then I may give it a shot if we've got enough extra to put some back here in the back. The easy part about this is you just simply tape it underneath the vehicle. I do have two pieces of tape or two types of tape that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use this 3M double-sided tape. So I'll put a strip on the back here. Then I'm also gonna use some clear tape to really hold it on and snug it tight. And then that way the LEDs will shine through the clear tape. Go ahead and measure out here and make sure that I have uh, increments of three and I can cut this out and then we'll be good to go. Real quick here, I just wanna show you how bright these lights are. So this is the strip that we cut. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm using just the battery. I'm gonna put positive on po positive, negative on negative, and you will see how bright it glows. Do it up higher so you guys can tell. Bam, and there they are. It glows bright, that's awesome. So this is gonna go on the side here, and then we'll trim another piece exactly the same to go on the opposite side, and we'll do one on the back and one on the front, and we'll mount them up. I'm excited about this. As you guys can see here, I went ahead and put double-sided tape up here. It's not the prettiest. Double-sided tape was really hard to cut. I have a, an additional positive wire, and I'm gonna run an additional ground wire through there. That way I can just extend the reach on the wires from the LED. But you'll notice there's a little hole in there that's already there from the factory, so I'm just gonna run the wires through there and tuck it up real nice against the body here with some tape. Now I'm going to install this onto the vehicle with this double-sided tape. Just gonna push firmly. just like that. And so this will just run up over here and I will tuck this away with some tape, make it real nice. I'm also gonna install some, some clear tape underneath this just so that it, I know that it's held in place very strongly. I'm gonna repeat that process on the other side. 
Alrighty guys, check it out. Here is the finished product and it looks so sick. All right, so to break it down from the front, you have fog lights on the bottom, headlights up top, underglow up front. Walk around to the side, you can see the underglow over here, looking mighty, mighty fine. In the rear, we have underglow, three tail lights on each side, which look ridiculously cool. It really brings the heritage of the Mustang back to what it is with the, tr the tri tail lights. So this is uh, super fitting. And on the side over here, once again, more underglow. So as you can tell from the back, the underglow looks really good. It kind of uh, diffuses it on the camera. It, it's really, it's really much brighter in person than what the camera's kind of showing off here. But uh, it looks so, so good. This thing looks wicked cool. Uh, my daughter is gonna love it. What is that? You wanna see it light up? Yeah. Push the button. You know which button? This one. Oh. Push it real hard. Push it, push it. Ooh. <laughs> Do you love it? Yeah. Is it so cool? Yeah. What color is that? Blue, like blueberry. Yeah. It's blue like your Mustang, huh? Yeah. And you have red lights in the back. You see the red ones? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for ML Toys. Good job. <laughs> Shirley's Mustang looks so sick. I am just 100% satisfied with the outcome of this. I think it looks phenomenal. Uh, I do have to give you guys one piece of advice, and that is with these lights, if you'll notice here, there are no wires coming out of the backside of it. That is my own fault. So what I did when I went to install these, I was twisting them into place by the light itself. What that did is it put the wires in a bind and they just kind of snipped off at the back and uh, it's totally user error. That is why they give you guys this fancy little nut on the back so that you can spin it back and forth to lock it into place and it doesn't put the wires in a bind. So definitely, definitely, definitely do not twist the wires behind the lights, they will snap off. ML Toys, being the great people they are, sent me replacement bulbs. So I have to say thank you so much to those guys over there. Michael, he's super awesome and uh, I can't recommend them enough. So that is my one tip for this for sure is uh, don't twist the wires. With the lights on, I wanna give you kind of a look underneath so I'm gonna flip the car. Bam, 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 bam. And you can kind of, you can see all of the lights underneath here now. They're all mounted with 3M double-sided adhesive tape uh, with a very clean looking install. On the ends here where the wires go up to where I wired them into the, the power and the ground, I have put clear tape there to hold them out of the way of the tires. And I think that's gonna be plenty. I'm gonna be sure to keep an eye on it after our first test run. I do need to snip the extra that is back there. But uh, overall, it just looks amazing. These lights are super bright too. Uh, you can kind of tell in this shot here just how bright they are. Um, when I go down to the ground, there they are again. This car just looks so cool. That's it guys. That is the finish of this install. The car looks amazing with all the lights. You saw the walk around. I hope you found the video helpful. I wanna say thank you once again to our sponsor, mltoys.com, link in the description. Every light you see on this Mustang here can be purchased through their website, super fast shipping, and the guys are super nice over there. If you have any questions about installing lights on your Power Wheels, I've made a series of videos. You can click the link up here, and that's gonna be a playlist for all the lights we've installed from the headlights, fog lights, tail lights, to the underglow LED lights, which you just saw. Uh, so I wanna thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you got any questions or comments about the install, leave that down below. I'm happy to answer those for you. And if you're not already, hit the subscribe button. New videos all the time. This baby's about wrapped up, but I have a Mustang of my own. It's a 2013 Mustang GT, and I also have a 2017 F250, which I have been loving modifying lately, and uh, that truck is just amazing. So if you're into cars, you're into that sort of thing, uh, make sure to hit the subscribe button. There's always more content like that to be had on this channel. Once again, thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you back here next time. Peace.